Hello, we continue our discussion about oligopoly markets and today uh, we start with our Kuno game. Uh, Kuno game was proposed by uh, by Kuno, the French economist, in I believe 1838, quite an old game. Uh, Kuno made the following uh, assumptions in his game. He assumed two identical firms, meaning that these firms they produce the same output uh, we, by using the same cost and production technologies, okay, and let's call them I, okay, I is equal to one or two, so we have firm one and firm two, okay. Number two, he also assumed that this market should not uh, should be close to entry, so there is no entry, making this market an oligopoly an oligopoly market effectively. Regarding the decision of the companies, the firms, the firms must choose quantities. So firms compete uh, for quantities, choose quantities. And I will show quantities by Q, naturally. And since we have two firms, QI, where I is either one or two, firm one choose Q1, firm two choose Q2. Next. Not only that they choose the quantities, but they, they make this choice simultaneously. So it's a simultaneous move game. Simultaneous move. Okay? Uh, that's important. Um, and finally, we will. it will turn out that the profits of these firms, let's call it uh, pi i, where i is either 1 or 2, right, depends on their respective choices of quantities. Not only the respective, but both choices of quantities will be influential on both profits, okay? Which makes sense as we know that in oligopoly markets, your choices, uh, your rival's choice affect your profit. So it depends on QIs. Okay. Uh, with these assumptions, Kurno uh, was able to solve this game. Uh, we will provide the Nash equilibrium solution to this game based on an example uh, provided by Perloff, which has a nice microeconomics uh, textbook. Okay, so this example that I will show now is based on the textbook Perloff. So the game that Perloff suggested, okay, so he suggested a game which had these three components. First, we have to identify our two players. So what are the two firms? Well, Perloff had in mind uh, the following scenario where he has uh, two um, airline companies, American Airlines and United Airlines, competing for customers on flights between Chicago and Los Angeles. Okay, and there is no other players, so it's close to entry we can only have these two airline companies okay number two is their strategies we have to identify their strategies in order to solve for the Nash equilibrium right so as it turns out so American Airlines will have to pick how much to produce and output based on only these two available choices it will either choose to fly a relatively low number, low number of customers 48,000 passengers or 64,000 passengers in a given quarter, three months. And similar for United Airlines. United Airlines will either fly 48,000 passengers or 64,000 passengers. And finally, their payoffs will depend on not only their own choices, but each other's choices. And in order to describe their payoffs, I will... Uh, draw the following uh, matrix. It is a 2 by 2 matrix with uh, the following uh, cells. Okay, so here we go. So we have um, two players. American Airlines will be my um, row player and uh, United Airlines will be my uh, column player. American Airlines have uh, two possible strategies available for it and similarly for uh, United Airlines, two possible strategies available. And given these strategies, 
if both choose to fly a low number of passengers they both end up earning 4.6 million dollars of uh, quarterly profits and if both choose to fly a high number of passengers they both end up earning relatively lower pass uh, profits as you can see in these cells the number on the bottom left belongs to American Airlines and the number on the top right belongs to American Airlines and similar in this cell in this cell and in this cell again the numbers on the bottom left belongs to American Airlines the numbers on top right belongs to United Airlines now if American Airlines fly 64,000 passengers and United Airlines fly only 48,000 passengers American Airlines is somehow rewarded by that flying more passengers is more profitable for him while if United Airlines flies low number of passengers and vice versa American Airlines is penalized flies low number of passengers while the rival is flying a higher number of passengers now that we know the payoffs it's possible um, to solve this game let me just okay so complete the the matrix okay so in order to do that we need their what we call as their best responses so let's start with the best response of uh, American Airlines okay so what are the best response of American Airlines given to a strategy by United Airlines if uh, my opponent United Airlines chooses to fly 48,000 passengers I don't know how much uh, how many passengers it will fly right this is a total experiment then for American Airlines the best strategy is to fly well if my rival flies 48,000 passengers I have to make a choice between flying 48 or 64,000 passengers in which case I respectively earn 4.6 and 5.1 million dollars so I should fly 64,000 passengers which earn me more profit similarly if my opponent flies 64,000 passengers well knowing that United Airlines flies 64,000 passengers I have to make a choice between 48 and 64 well I realize that flying 64,000 passengers earn me more profit so namely um, 4.1 million dollars and I go with it the best response oops response of United Airlines will be determined in a similar fashion so if the opponent which is the rival which is American Airlines flies uh, 48,000 passengers the best option then for United Airlines is to fly 64,000 passengers and similarly if uh, let me write it here yes uh, American Airlines flies 64,000 passengers then United will choose to fly again 64,000 passengers so the Nash equilibrium now of this game is where the best response curves me, the, the best responses of both companies meet each other so the best way to, 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 f to see that will be by circling the, the best outputs the, the, the best payoffs so we realize that when we have United flying 48 American will fly 64 so I circle it when United flies 64 American will again fly 64 circle it and if American flies 48 United will fly 48 uh, 64 sorry so I circle it if America flies 64 then United will also fly 64 circle. so the Nash equilibrium solution these two best responses meet at 64 both at 64 so the Nash equilibrium is where American Airlines flies 64,000 passengers and similarly United Airlines fly 64 thousand passengers and respectively they will make profits of 4.1 million dollars and similar for United Airlines a profit of 4.1 million dollars this is a typical example of the prisoners dilemma where they both ended up uh, earning less profit that they sh than they could have earned uh, this happened because this is a simultaneous move game and they cannot signal to each other uh, to produce less in, in in this case uh, to to kind of in a sense make it make it a cartel um, so that will be uh, it for today and we will continue 
the game next.